Okay, here is an update. As I previously installed uh, the tweeter and down there the woofer, and we have the well anyway. There's my cassette deck. All right, and then we've installed a new tweeter and woofer down here. All right, now let me show you the rest of what we're doing here. Okay. All right. Here is the other, the rear door, and as we, um, we have the tweeter, we have the crossover network installed, and as we did not realize from before, we cannot use the really deep uh, woofers in here because the window comes down right here. Let's see. See the window comes down and it only gives you about uh, yeah, two inches of depth uh, from the edge of the metal to the window itself so the original speaker it was in there with the uh, extended ring which is half an inch doesn't give you much depth to install a high-end or a deeper bigger woofered bigger magnet uh, speaker anyhow so couldn't do that so I had to go with the original speakers I was going to replace with anyway so it'll be a complete match set and here to better describe the entire setup here let me put this on a tripod bear with me all right well, come on now oh, I had it turned around no wonder <laughs> there we go all right now, here is, let me raise this up some so we can get better, a better view. All right. Here is the front speaker. And let me show you, if I can with a flashlight. See, there is, it's just a woofer, okay? And the surround is all gone in the back, as you can see in the early morning light. Now, this here is the rear speaker. See it how it has a coaxially mounted tweeter across the face of it, but where the where this rear uh, coaxially mounted woofer and tweeter is located, the tweeter is down by your feet in the rear. Hence, we are going to we as we have installed or have shown previously in the previous video, we <clears throat> we installed right here let me zip into that install that one that's one door and there's the other door okay so those have been installed by me as I showed in the previous video now let me go down here and show you again what's happening all right now this here is the speaker I dropped in the other video because there's a dented rim. <laughs> okay, this is a uh, Infinity 6010 CS. All right, that's front and back, and that is identical to this one here, height and width and all that. But notice how these speakers have the uh, the, the the tabs on them, whereas these do not. Okay. And so here is, again, the front speaker. That has the tabs. Notice the tabs right here. Okay, so when we marry this up, uh, there's no tabs on the infinity. Okay, so kind of important because now let me move the tripod and everything because over here we have uh, found the solution of simply uh, taking the extender rings and uh, drilling four holes, small holes on this side, and big holes on the back side to install uh, T mounts, which are well, you, you can see what they are. Anyway, so we had to we have one you know one one tang up here. We had to flatten the other uh, pieces so it would fit, so we would have a solid thing to screw machine screws through to have a good solid tight fit on here. I don't know what else anyone else would do as far as installing uh, this kind of woofer in the doors because the the, uh, the speaker here 
doesn't have the, these aftermarket speakers don't have enough catch there's not enough metal because the hole uh, the hole here the diameter here which this fits into the door uh, doesn't allow enough there's a big magnet there doesn't allow there we go doesn't allow enough uh, there's not enough metal to catch so it's so I have to use some kind of adapter and the only way I could do is use the original adapter but by modifying it by adding uh, by drilling through the adapter and putting it in like that now these are the 6010 CS whatnot okay enough of that I hope you understand all that now moving on over here to the, the last little bit here here again is the uh, the reference wait yeah there's the reference uh, cover that's the crossover network okay and it's got the the N let's see the N the woofer the tweeter and then we got a negative three decibel down if we choose to use that function we're not going to All right now uh, in the doors back up here let me redirect you back to the door okay this uh, this as you can see that one is uh, rotated to that direction whoops and this one over here is uh, rotated to that direction so they're both rotated back to the back kind of up up and to the back okay so now let me take it back down to this whip it back out okay when you when you get the when you get the the when you buy this system here uh, the comes the, the woofer the, the crossover and the tweeter this here is what the tweeter looks like okay now uh, you get a flat mount which is pretty self-explanatory you just two screws screw it into and you can mount the tweeter directly on here and it's just a flush mount surface mount is what they're called okay this here is a behind the panel you could break these little tabs off as needed and mount your tweeter here and then mount this from behind uh, and install your tweeter here and it's just all kind of different ways you can use that I'm not using this or the surface mount because I prefer to use the uh, this one here as I showed in a, a previous video now this here once you drill your hole and insert once you drill your hole and insert this and you screw this down and sandwich this edge between that and your panel and then you have this here then you take uh, this part here which has a little screw on the back and you line it up with this and it allows you to articulate the tweeter like that okay and then of course the tweeter um, it's kind of hard to do but the tweeter actually has a little let's see if I can show it see, see that catch there it has an actual notch catch so you put the tweeter in like this and there now it's fully seated so now it's fully seated and then you put this into here and then you get your I don't bring it with me but you get your washer and your lock nut and then you can lock then you can you can rotate this like this up one side and down the other and articulate it as to where you want to point it and then of course you rotate this whole thing to like I showed in the door anyway so that's, that's how that works uh, for this system here and so hopefully I, I explained this fairly well for you to understand that uh, this is what I'm installing in this vehicle and um, what and that's hopefully this will sound a lot better because I have raised I have taken the, uh, I've taken the, um, what do you call this? I've taken the woofer and tweeter down by your feet in the rear, and I've moved the tweeter uh, up to up to that location rather than being down in this location. So hopefully I'll have a better, uh, better, better sound all around, front and rear. Okay, and. Thanks for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed this and learned something from it as I have. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.